York environmental educators are a rare breed. They take their passion for the earth seriously and help to inspire others to care about the natural world too. This morning we introduce you to a truly wild and caring spirit as Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. Wild Spirit Education has been in flight since 1989. Founder Paul Ferringer began as a wildlife rehabilitator while also doing some outreach. Over time, the focus of the organization shifted to bringing nature to the classroom. We decided that we could better our mission by doing environmental education. The rehab took so much time, so much effort, money, and so we concentrated. We slowly did the switch over to education. Wild Spirit now presents over 300 programs a year, reaching about 30,000 people. They visit schools, sponsor public programs, and even conduct citizen science projects. They use hands-on experience to reconnect kids and adults alike to Mother Nature. I see a, a definite need now to get kids especially, but even adults, out into nature. You know, our lives get busier and busier, and we've lost the connection with nature. Wild Spirit believes in getting people back with that connection. You know, understand that we are part of, you know, the natural world. One of their most effective tools are their animal ambassadors. Among them are many wild birds that came to Paul to be rehabilitated. Though they can no longer live in the wild, they now serve a very important purpose. One of our beliefs is hands-on nature. So we have found that if we go into the school with live animals, I mean, a lot of these kids that we go to have never seen these animals that close. So it does make a difference to have the live animals with us. Wild Spirit not only guides the young, they reunite the not so young with past experience. They're one of the few to take their knowledge into senior homes. These are people who can't get outdoors anymore. You know, they are in wheelchairs or they use walkers. So they, their experience outdoors is sitting out, out on the patio. So many stories come out. When, when I was a kid, I used to, you know, go through the woods and um, so it, it's fun to interact with them in that way. In a time when our society has become so distant from the planet that sustains us, Wild Spirit is like a cry in the wilderness, calling people back to our true nature and inspiring those they reach to once again care for our mother. It's so rewarding to see other people connect with nature and build a bond with nature. You know, and I've had, I've had students you know, that I've taught at programs year after year, and they come back to me as, you know, young adults telling me, you know, you made a difference. Reporting from Delavan, New York, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.